Hey guys, uh, here with MPI and we're with a 21 uh, Chevy Silverado and we are going to give you a uh, overview of the IntelliHall 2.0 install. We'll get some good footage today. So you will be seeing us um, on and off all day. So pop in. I'm not going to do the whole thing live. These are HD camera guys. Um, so it's a nice kit. I'm excited to bring this to you. Um, so our front camera is right here. And it will be going right here. There's a nice little cutout for it um, right there. So I'll give you that um, install overview. We will be doing both side cameras. Um, so we'll do just one side to show you on the video. Um, but the camera is nice and molded and is designed to go right there. It's got a nice little mold um, to that. So we will show you getting the doors apart, getting the wires ran in and whatnot. Um, and then it also comes with a rear wireless HD camera. This thing's got super good clarity, guys. So camera looks just like the old one, um, which goes on your trailer, your RV. Um, and it does display in HD. The receiver is uh, quite a bit different than the last one. But that will go on the back glass, opposite side over there. Um, and we'll give you the install overview of that. So with that said... As you can see, we've got the uh, normal 3.0 interface here. This does have the factory navigation. You can see it firing up. And we've got all, all our factory icons. It, this does have the uh, trailer package on it. Um, this will display auto, um, so we'll be able to pull up all the cameras, split screen, and then three at once, two sides in the front, or two sides in the rear wireless. We'll show you all that, and then of course it'll auto activate on the uh, display as well. So, all right guys, we're here back uh, on this 21 Silverado, and we're gonna remove this left side door panel. Um, so I'll show you how this is done. So to start, we're gonna remove the panel right behind the um, door pull pick pull it out right angle pick and behind there you will have a seven mil all right now we're going to need to pop this trim off right here so just plastic pry tool dash panel removal and that leaves us access to two sevens right down there You don't have small fingers just magnet and pull that guy right out and then we've got <clears throat> two right down here and now this whole door panel is going to pop off just start up there in the corner as usual guys these are tight just like that going to kind of pull it over the edge there and rock it up and off all right so from here can have a little bit of a challenge you to get your release off which just a little clip okay rock it out so that can come out and then down here This can be a, it's a new connector GM's put in. You will need to basically raise that up. So then that will rock down and over, allowing the connector to pull right out. Now we can nicely set our panel aside and boom. So from there, Pull this insulation panel out. It's going to expose four 13 mils, guys. Pull the red tab out so the connector can just come out the way. Just 
fold it on the other side, make sure that mirror didn't come tumbling down. And off we come. So now we will go install. So a couple parts, got the camera, which obviously goes right on the mirror itself. You've got the mount, which will attach to the camera and then the gasket that goes on it. Now there are some labels on these guys, R, <coughs> RH and left eight, LH, left H, LH right there. So you don't screw it up. It's on all of it. So make sure to get it right. It does come with some small screws. And like anything else, just get them started guys to kind of get things held in place before you go wrenching them down. Make sure you got a good fit all the way around. Cool. Now our camera is on. Now it's a matter of getting this gasket on there. Uh, one thing I will note, guys, here is GM did want you to uh, bring the wire up through here, which I think is pretty tight. It's really, they didn't notch it like they should have. There's really no reason to do that, and I'll show you why here in a second. So you can skip that in the instructions if you'd like. It's up to you. Big thing is make sure that gasket goes on all the way around over the lip nice. And just like that, we're mounted. Hey guys, I wanted to bring to you the um, GMC Sierra 1500 2019 through 2022 for the uh, GM, uh, uh, GM IntelliHall 2.0 system. So, um, as you know, we brought you a video last couple weeks um, on the system. And I made an error. Uh, I had a customer bring it to my attention that GM is actually not supporting it for the 1500 on the Sierra, um, which obviously caught my attention. And I did some research, and indeed they are not. So the reason being is the mirror, even though it looks the same, is different. Um, and it's molded differently. So I went to the work, and um, I did come up with a solution. This can be altered to make work. I am going to have a couple other options. First and foremost, I will reach out to um, Echo Master and, and see what kind of timeline they're looking at for the, the proper mounts. But the mirror is molded um, slightly different. I will put an extra post up um, in addition to this that, that actually shows the mirror and the differences at different angles. I'll get you pictures of it. I've already done the modification, so I'm going to take this off and show you what had to be done. But the, basically, the mirror kind of comes up like this and then over. So you got to do a bunch of trimming to make this work. Um, and so with a grease pencil and some patience, grease pencil to kind of outline where the mirror fits. And then a Dremel with a cutoff wheel and then a nice sanding wheel will get you done. And allow this to fit nice and snug now um, had I done my you'll see where I kind of screwed up and went too far out here this is just a test mirror for this purposes had I drawn this out properly that wouldn't have been the case I um, I didn't do it without drawing it guys so um, if you draw this out and take your time you can eliminate that so let me take this off and um, show you what I did. I also verified this will fit fine on the truck after the modification is done. So um, this this is doable on the uh, Sierra.
hopefully GM will come out with some new caps molded properly um, but with the way everything is right now with shipping and everything else I'm not holding my breath that that'll be anytime soon so that said got just a few screws here to hold it on Now, I also started making some cuts that I probably didn't really need to make. Again, I bought this mirror to do this fabrication on and come up with a solution. So, with that said, this out of the way. This plastic is going to come up over this from the factory. And the curve is different so to start with you got to get all your <clears throat> go straight across and get all your holes exposed to where you can come through this factory gasket also needs to be trimmed down and then the new mirror does come I'm not sure where I put it at this point in time but it's also got a gasket that goes over this um, to make it all nice and flush just not sure where it went right this second but with that said don't worry about the gasket it's going to have a new one that goes over all this anyway and then so you got to trim this down go straight across below the holes and then the main area where it gets hung up is on the sides guys so you want to basically take these sides out. Now you probably don't have to cut this all the way off. I originally went to trimming down, trying to just notch the plastic down and got it pretty thin. And then when I went to cut this out, it just kind of broke loose. So with the right trim, that can probably remain intact. Um, just enough to where the cap will kind of go over without binding up on that so much. And then the same here. And then... The big hang up is right here guys where this kind of goes up here that's why that right there you can see where that factory notch is um, and we've got to give it the room to kind of go in so had I brought this up and out so ideally what you do get this laid on there mark it out and then go up above it about a quarter of an inch around so again had i gone followed it this way instead of down i'd have been fine quarter inch up and around and up the same here you'll see where i'm above the line cutting gave it plenty of room so that'll allow you to make this work again you'll want to make your initial cuts and then go back and trim down as needed to fit and then this will fit and work and then to finish it off I would take a final bead of silicone, black silicone, real fine, right along the edge there to seal it up nice. And then it does come with a new gasket. Once this is also on, the new gasket covers this whole thing to go up against the door. So not sure where I set that, but it does come with it. It'll be all nice and sealed up that way. So there you have it. I'm going to put another uh, post with the documentation and also update the website. That is what's going to be involved on the GMC Sierra until new mirror caps are made. All right. Thanks. So if you were to pull it through where I told you, they're going to want you to come in through here. No need to do that. You can see there's plenty of room just to drop the wire straight down and secure down in there. So we'll go ahead and... <clears throat> Do that now. And it's straight down so you can get it. And then there is a bit of a trick. This is where another pair of hands comes in. Just to kind of hold it in place. Then the trick is to, before you tighten things down, make sure your gasket is on there proper all the way around I'll make sure and pull this guy out um, little pick usually does the trick guys but just like that nice and clean all the way around before you go
tightening it all the way. And with that, we can go ahead and kind of hand tighten it to hold it in place. And from there, we're just gonna remove that seven right there. And we'll grab the uh, wire harness, kind of zip tie it like we showed you over there and bring it up through the boot, just like we showed you on that opposite side. This seal panel right here will need to come up. It just pops off. We'll get the floorboard out the way and then our harness is just gonna route straight over and plug it in. So we're gonna get through all that, guys. So the harness will just need to come up and over, across the dash, secure it along the way, and then plug into the module, which mounts right down there on that factory bracket, nice. Uh, one last thing, guys. This guy here, GM says to pull out and uh, bring the harness through it wants you to make a slit I don't really see any need of doing that it wants you to come down loop it back around and in for servicing I don't see any need of that you can do all the servicing by just simply removing this bolt popping the speaker out you're gonna have to do that anyway and all the harnessings right there no need to cut that guy I think the engineers were overthinking that it's up to you if you want to do that looks real good does have a nice gasket that goes all the way around show you the internals of the door and I will come back and show you the actual breakdown on the driver's side here in a moment but this fits perfect and then with the door off we're gonna come in we do have a couple junction points the instructions will tell you to bring this cable out I don't see the need for that for service um, you do have to take this speaker off regardless it's just one I think seven mil mm -hmm. Pop this off, speaker comes out. We're just gonna secure that. And then bring it through the boot, through the door, through the very bottom right there. And then on the inside, it comes through. We do have some pictures. This is tight. This is a pretty thick wall right here, and there is some foam in some of these trucks that you got, got to work through. Um, so just FYI, but all in all, not too bad. I will get you some footage here shortly on removing the door panel. And then while we're here, on the back, we've got the uh, wireless receiver back there. It is going to sit on that back glass. I'll give you a little bit better update with that. Pull the side gaskets, and I'm just gonna route that cable all the way to the front. And I'll have to remove this A-pillar up here, um, which will be some tens that'll come off, down, plug right in, so. All right guys, this is an update on the uh, front camera install. I'm all mounted, secured with the two small screws. This does have some adjustment on it come through now. I will point out we do have to There's a bunch of uh, Christmas tree clips we call them on here. They have to come out and then two t-15s before this will come off This will have to slide off your hood release And this will come up like it aside I've got the uh, cable secured right here you see my zip ties I'm also secured over here on the horns I'm gonna secure it here as well so avoid the radiator and then I'm coming up this is a little gasket right here coming up around following the cable and then, um, so disregard all my, my other video on these newer trucks, guys, 20, 19s and 20s, 21s. GM did put a nice little grommet right down there. You can kind of see it right there. Um, just cut a notch and it will go through into the cab. Then just kind of secure things nice. 
Hey guys, I am back in this uh, 21 Silverado and <clears throat> did get them finally wrapped up. We got some buttoning up to do tomorrow and I'll bring you another video tomorrow. But real quick, um, just so you can kind of see the operations of it, I, I do have it um, finally installed. So uh, right turn, auto activate, nice crystal clear picture. All right, uh, left turn, auto activate. I am sitting right next to uh, the Dodge Ram, so um, got an excellent view right there on the side. Uh, we can do, obviously there's the factory backup camera, and now there's the front camera, auto activate. Um, you can turn that off in settings if you don't want that feature to auto turn on, that can be turned off. <clears throat> then if we wanna access it, Pull it on up, just like the last time. I do have the uh, HD trailer camera just rigged up um, in the garage, so it's actually not getting a very good angle there. I apologize, but um, if that were on the back of your vehicle, you could have that going on. Uh, we can actually pull up uh, left, right, and the trailer at the same time while going down the road. Can do split screen left and right at the same time so great for pulling trailers as you can see pull up just the front or those individually as well so um, as far as the settings go there we go if I want to turn off that front camera I can um, I can also turn off the uh, side cameras if you want and then there's one more feature in here uh, This will let you switch to the front view instead. So if you want to for some reason see the two sides in the front um, We could do that Go up here, And now I've got The front and the two sides so if that's something you want to switch to you can pretty cool little setup guys nice HD cameras I'll get some better pics um, and I'll get it out on the road tomorrow and get you a little bit better view as to what's going on on the actual road. But um, Telehaul 2.0 available with us. Got any questions? All in all, this install is pretty straightforward. So um, I like it documented really well. Um, we'll get everything put together for you. If you've got any questions, as usual, give us a ring. Thanks so much.